Good morning, or actually good afternoon. It is 1 o'clock, a few minutes before 1 o'clock. Yesterday I was a couch potato, and but I did, you know, I did color my hair. Well, my better half colored my hair for me because I was looking like Gandalf. <laughs> gray beard. So, well, not gray beard, but gray. So, got that dealt with. Also, my better half and I yesterday went over here to the corner of the yard and we had picked a first jar of tincture. This is goldenrod, um, which goldenrod is very good. Um, hang on now. But my goldenrod, I like because if I can find it, it's for, you know, inflammation, pain. I'm looking for where I have it. Because I, I, I jotted this down so I don't forget. There's that. I don't know why that's even there. I thought I wrote this down, but I guess I didn't. There it is. For pain, swelling, inflammation. It's a diuretic um, for helping urine flow, muscle spasms. It helps with all forms of arthritis and eczema and all that good um, stuff. So and that's my first tincture of uh, the goldenrod. And I have some in a brown paper bag to dry so I can have it for teas. But I, I had pulled out <laughs> what I'm doing right now. This isn't all of it. This is just my daily, what I do daily is how I'm going to put that. Um, have to take, like, if you look, let you guys look. It's not that much that I'm taking right now, but I do have other tools in my toolbox if I have to get to it. Like, you all know, my Protandum, day and night. Um, well, the Lacarnitine, I'm not taking right now, but it's still there. The Panix Ginseng, Charcoal, my Japanese Knotweed, Glucosamine, Magnesium, my B12 um, Tinctures, my Turmeric. I'm not going to show the fronts of it. This brand is definitely my favorite. Irwin Naturals Organic. They are my favorite brand because it's organic and it like my milk thistle liver detox it's not only got the liver detox for um in it but it's got you know more turmeric and ginseng and i can't see the rest dandelion beets flax seed artichoke leaf extract which is good for pain and inflammation vitamin c but i love their brand i i usually buy every one of their brands they have uh supplements Let's see here. Magnesium, I just said that. My colon detox. Can't go anywhere without meclizine. Um, two forms of probiotics. And then we get into my oils. My breathies. My basil. My rosemary. My mint. Some of these are for my diffuser. Some of these I use. Personally. Um, sandalwood. Lavender. Lemon frankincense can't ever go without frankincense lemon verbena eucalyptus rose hip i've got a box full of this stuff green tea extract i don't know what this is multi it doubles i got doubles of some of these in here but i'm just like well that's not that bad of what i'm using because i don't have to i mean yeah the pill bottles yeah I use daily well not all the time like the um, frankincense it depends on the head and copper copper bracelets is a must for me for my um my bone issues put my breathies back up there and you know my different face clean yeah I guess this is just a little FYI of right now what I take like um Little things to get me through, like I told you guys before, I love to say yes to um, Tomatoes Company, their charcoal bars, and definitely I, their facial cleaners. I love this new facial cleaner they have because it has um, tomatoes, watermelon, charcoal, and red tea in it. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. But... 
to be honest, what I do, just the pill, if I, if I move some of these oils out, and that, if I just do, let me turn these around, so name brand, so I'm not looking like I'm selling anything, that right there, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that right there in supplements is not bad, and, um, like two a day, one a day, five, two, two, one, one, four, when I have to, two, two, and two, that's it, on supplements, I do, but the oils, my main daily oils is my frank, my frankincense, my lemon oil, my eucalyptus, and then I do the whole diffuser ones, but yeah, my new venture is I'm doing the tinctures now. So, that's a little insight of the daily tools I have to do. That's not counting the toolbox to get into if it's a, I have to dig deeper <laughs> into my toolbox. That's the CBD oil. That's the full spectrum. Um, uh, the pain creams, which I have plenty of creams. Eucalyptus pain creams and... Um, I can't even think of them all. Once um, for stress, once for sleep, all these different pain cream, um, well, creams, and some are pain creams that I do get into occasionally, but that's not on a daily regimen. But I definitely keep my lavender, uh, not my lavender, my diffusers going in the house with different essential oils to help with my stamina, my mood, my energy, my brain, my overall. But, um, I don't know. Today is just one of those, ugh, again, days. I, I'm okay. I'm just chilling today. But that's just a little inside of just some of the stuff. That right there is just, the, the supplements is what I do on a daily, daily, daily. Can't stop daily. And some of them are for Babesia, Arilakio, Arilica, or Arilakiosis, Bartonella, Anaplasma to treat those some of my oils are too that i've not pulled out because i have a big old bag of oils too for i i treat what comes up and that and that's how i i feel my my motto is um if it's not bothering me let, let's say my bone pain is my number one contender well that could be is it the Babesia, is it the Lyme, is it the Spotted Fever, Bartonella, is it the arthritis, the Lyme arthritis, I treat as it comes up, so if I'm dealing with head issues, I will treat my head issues, if that's the number one contender, if, if my Spotted Fever um, comes out, or the um, Hashimoto comes out, and starts messing with me then I treat it as it shows I'm not gonna treat and, and I may be wrong but this is just how I've been doing it I treat what the issue is at the moment at the time day week month so if just cuz I'm good this week with the spotted fever does not mean spotted fever I'm not dealing with next week or the Bartonella or the Borella the anaplasma the Arilica the Hashimoto the tularema, the encephalitis, all that. I treat. I instead of me just going, okay, I'm going to treat all my co-infections I have all at once. <laughs> We're gonna. I'm gonna have a huge table full of supplements, oils, and medicines. And I don't want to do that. I don't like taking this as it is, but we have to. So I treat what comes along. If whatever is deciding to come out and play for a day, two, week, month, whatever. I will still take my normal treatments daily, but let's say my spotted fever comes out on top of it, I will add that that oil, that tincture, that supplement in until it calms down. So, I mean, that's my baseline supplements I do daily, not including if a different co-infection decides to want to come out and play. Then I will treat it until it <laughs> goes back to sleep for a week or two 
and then I'll treat it if it comes back out. And most of the time, some of the treatments I do daily keeps it at bay, which, I mean, it's still active, but it keeps it at bay so it's not full on. So I can just battle one thing at a time because it's just too much to deal with fighting every co-infection at once. So I try and do the baseline fighting. And then as it arises, each co-infection comes out of sleep. <laughs> then I tackle it. And sometimes I will tackle it and I've not seen it for a month or two months. Or, in, or it's not come back. And sometimes it'll just be like a random once a month it'll come back. So I'm maintaining it until I go, okay, well, I know this. I know I'm good here. Let's start battling the extra co-infections even though it's not showing let's start battling it's just i don't want to do it all at once because that's too much drainage too much detox too much on your system especially with people with neurological issues as well so i deal with the baseline supplements to fight the main co-infections that's always here on me the bart the borella my my lyme arthritis and the neurological issues I call in my liver, <laughs> my guts, and my heart. I'm always, that's a daily regimen to deal with. But any other little co infection that decides to come out of its slumber and play, then I, I will take care of it or I will deal with it. I will supplement it up, oil it up, whatever. So that's because I just I'm not I'm not for the whole let's go in and sling all these medications at you and fight them all at once. That tears your body down worse than it already is because it already kills your immune system. So you can't fight every co-infection all at once. I mean, yeah, let's say a doctor says you have five active co-infections plus Lyme. OK, let's fight all of them all at once. You can't do that. That is too much on your system. So it's best to always keep fighting the line and the main biggest markers that always shows face in your body. And then add to it if another one happens to show up. Including depends on your body too. I can't just fight every co-infection at once. So I fight my main issues my main co-infections that's always bother me and then if one pops up i'll deal with it until it slumbers itself right back in the bed <laughs> for what however long so but that that's just how i do it but as far as my protandums my day and night i didn't realize also how much turmeric minus the turmeric supplement i take and then my protandum has turmeric in it. My milk thistle liver detox has turmeric in it. My, uh, where's it at? There's another one out here somewhere. It has turmeric in it. No, I don't have it in here, out here. I have another supplement that has turmeric in it. So I am seeing improvements except for my right leg. Oh, that's the killer of them all. So I'm hoping... My golden rod tincture, when it's cured, can help combat the rest of the inflammation and bone pain. But that's just a little insight of what a, a, a daily supplements, my oils, you know, your wrist, behind your ears, at your temples, sometimes in your head, behind your neck. And then my diffuser oils to help me get through because lemon and grapefruit wakes you up, gets you stimulated, gets you moving. And then, you know, you got the lavenders that calms you down in the afternoon. And if your head's a little wonky donkey, put eucalyptus in your diffuser and it helps with the neurological issues. Then I got my rose that just, that just over is an overall relaxation and overall calming because i mean yes we use a lot of our own we use our oils for what we need to use but it's also good to keep your diffuser with uh, to match the diffuser oils with what issues you got each day and that's how i do that like my clove oil 
my basil. Yeah, I forgot to name that. My basil, my clove oil. Oh my goodness, that stuff. That is some strong, nasty stuff. I, I'm telling you, when I do when I do my basil and I I do my clove and my basil two weeks out of a month, and that stuff is a definite whoa detox killer. I mean that'll that's a that's a that's strong. So I do that twice out of the month. But like my clove oil, my basil, I do rosemary, I do um, Melissa, which is a mint, but I do an extra, um, a pressed oil from it, a cold pressed oil, because I have Melissa growing all the way around my house. I use that, or the dandelion, I do my own um, cold pressed dandelion oil, because I have dandelions growing everywhere. And then you got my teas, my matcha teas, or much, yeah, my maca green tea and then you know i've got my powdered um my powdered cinnamon my powdered curcumin turmeric whichever you want to call it then i got my stressless um teas and all those detox teas in there so i didn't include that because i mean i do those as well it's just that's something easier to get in the cabinet and go to versus okay i gotta put my medicines together you know what I'm saying? So I don't count that because that's just an easy thing to grab and go. Make the tea or get it, brew it, steep it, make it ice cold or keep it hot, which I mostly drink it hot. So I've never really done any of my herbal teas, detox teas and stuff and turned it cold. So I don't know. I may try it. I don't know. I don't know if I'd like it. But that's just a little insight. But no, it's just I'm going to get back in the house because it is hot. And sticky and muggy out here. Ugh. For some reason, I got heartburn. I don't know why. All of us are indigestion. For some reason. And my chest plate feels like somebody sucker punched it. <laughs> that hurts. That's weird. But I'm rambling. But um, other than that, the day's just hot, sticky, muggy. It's overcast. And another day of just taking in what God gives me and enjoying it and being blessed with what you have because I mean you live each day that comes I mean you don't know if today's going to be your last <laughs> you really don't so I just live day to day I take what I know I have to take daily and if I have to, I add in what else needs to be added, if it needs to be, if an issue arises. But yeah, like I said, I've got my goldenrod tincture for the next two to four weeks and a shade I've got to do. And then I've got my goldenrod drying in a bag to, for tea. And I just got to get to the opium. I'm going to do more Melissa. i got to get it all going before fall kicks in and kills it all so other than that that's pretty much my day i've really i'm not really done anything this is about the most energetic thing i just did today it was this it's showing you guys a little bit of that but i mean we each have our own little cabinet of toolboxes and i mean what helps me does may not help you because we're all different in our line battle but that's just certain things that gets me through and I'll be honest, I would not, I could not make it without frankincense. Frankincense is my number one, definitely, especially for the neuro issues. And now I'm going to have to say the pro tandem. Definitely the pro tandem is doing good. I love the night one. I love, love, love the nighttime one because it helps me sleep. So, I mean, and I'm still to a half of a pro tandem in the morning. I know you're supposed to do two, but I do not. I do a half one right now, and it's, I'll, I'll go with there. I'll I'll build up at, depending on how I feel, if I'm ready to step up to the full pill again, I will. But until then, I'm just using the half. But other than that, my day is <laughs> slowly improving. Seeing small improvements. I mean, I do not have the stamina to get out here and jog, run, bike climb <laughs> two cartwheels and things like i don't have that because this is is what stops it 
uh, no matter if neck down has the energy to run like a gazelle head up is what will is what stops me because it always is if this is hyper this is haywire because of all the energy or the energetic whatever you want to call it comes up here and then this goes haywire so this is always the thing that I have that could I'm always consulting with because this stops me from doing what my body wants to do because it's ready to go and feels great but this is what I contend with so I'm hoping getting this back to somewhat stability will help me be able to get the two working together <laughs> that's how i'm gonna put that but hopefully you guys you find a shimmy a shake a sprinkle a sparkle and a silver lining um but yeah just thought i'd show you guys just a little bit inside of what my dailies are versus i'm not even going to get into what i have that i have to use when i need to use it and that may be another video but other than that my prayers are still going for you all may you have a blessed day beautiful day cooler weather not hot, sticky, and muggy like this. Other than that, guys, I love you. God bless, and God willing, I'll post tomorrow. Be good.